Okay, so now we're ready to start dimensioning this because we've got everything in place that we need to. We'll dimension everything, so all our doors are in, all our windows are in. Um, I'm going to pan this over here a little bit. We're ready to start dimensioning um, this. So when we switch over here to this view, um, when we look at it, we want to pretty much replicate what, what's in here. There are some things that are mistakes. Architects, they tend to, I mean, if we were doing mechanical engineering, we wouldn't do things like put 14 foot 4 inches on this side over here and do the same over there. But it's okay for, for in architecture because they um, they want to be able to have a carpenter or the builder that's building the thing know exactly what's going on all the time. So um, they could be on this side of the house and they're like, well, I'm working over here. They don't want to have to chase it all the way around there to figure out what's going on where in, in mechanical engineering you wouldn't do that so let's go back in here we're gonna create a new layer um, we'll click this right here it should come right up we'll click on this to create a new layer and we're gonna call it dimensions and um, or dimension it's fine let's go ahead and make it red we'll pick that red right there um, and then we do want it to do to, to print the lit those so we'll not won't mess with that one. If you double click it or you check the thing up there, it'll that one right there, it'll become the current layer. So when we close it, that changes to dimension layers there. So when we start doing dimensions, we want to be able to annotate this. Um, let's go to annotate here. So we want to have it so your name is there. If you're using one that has my name on it, that's fine. But um, let's change this. Um, we're gonna modify it. Oh, we already did apparently in the very beginning. Uh, if you didn't, you want to change change these things here. Let's say you change your lines. That should all be bilayer. The rest of those things will be fine uh, as long as you changed your units. Um, well, you're going to select your primary units as architectural there, and then this should all work out that way. So give you a second to look at that so you can make sure yours matches. If you have to pause it, pause it and make a match. And then you go to symbols and arrows. You're doing architectural ticks. So that all the rest of that should match. Your text you really shouldn't have to mess with. We're not going to mess with it any uh, in this case. Um, your fit, you do want to change your overall scale to something larger than 1. Um, 30 will probably be good and place your text manually. And yes, I said before, your primary units are architectural. We're not going to do any alternate units or anything like that. Um, so go ahead and click OK um, and close that. So now we're ready to start dimensioning. Uh, we're going to do linear dimensions. and So we're going to start and we're going to dimension from here to here. And we'll put the dimension in somewhere right there. Right. Let's start with making sure we get we get all of the uh, rooms dimensioned. So um, I'm gonna put a dimension, linear dimension that goes from there. Uh, let's go over here to this wall. This will tell us what how long that wall is right there. We'll do a dimension that goes from. We're just gonna start telling us what the rooms are. Oh, it looks like I still got to do some stuff in here with the shelf and the water heater. I'll go back and fix that in a little bit. We, we can do that last. And from here to there. All right. We'll go ahead and put an overall on the outside here to make it look really nice. All right. So 58 foot 4 inches. Go ahead and do one that goes from, say, here down to right here, the middle of the wall. Um, we'll do another one that goes from here to here. Another one goes from here down to the corner. Got an overall, and we'll put an overall on there too. So we might go back in here and dimension other things. Dimensioning these are kind of easy because you're just doing the, the walls for now. We'll go in and figure out how we're going to do windows and doors later. Oops, I messed that up. Clicked on the wrong spot. I was actually going for not there. So I'll hit escape, click on that. I'm going to grab that grip and move it to there and puts it in the right spot. Now, one of the things that we're missing, uh, we didn't give that inf or didn't get the information was how big that is right there. So we'll just go ahead and drop that in. The 
The other thing we probably want to do is do a dimension from here to here to tell us how wide that is. So we know how big that is. And then it should be 14 foot 4. And we can line that up right there like that. All right. Um, I think I'll go ahead and move this one inward a little bit on the inside so everything's lined up nice and neat. All right, so then we're getting here. We're going to go ahead and put some in, in architecture. You can go ahead and do things like this. I want to dimension from the spot on the wall here to this point to locate that. And I'll do another one that tells them how long this wall has to be. So now we've determined what the, the where the stair is the stairs are. Um, we'll do another one over here that tells us what this is. I'm trying to keep it as neat as possible, so you're trying to keep stuff lined up as close as you can. Um, Let's see, we probably want to tell them how wide this hallway is, too, so we can go from wall to, let's say, the perpendicular right here. We'll line that up. And in the on the drawing that we have, it shows us that, uh, it shows us here that this dimension only goes to there, so there's a mistake in the in the part. We never actually measured that out, if I remember correctly. Um, we may have. Uh, it was a few videos back, but we go. You can see that. So that's that one. Well, is there anything else we need to dimension as far as the rooms go? Um, we don't need to do that anymore. Um, so uh, we can go in now and start figuring out at least where the exterior windows are. So we'll do some linear dimensions and tell us where the windows are. And in this case, we'll just go to the center of that window here. And it might not line up the same way that uh, we did in the drawing because we made it actually a little more aesthetically, or to the original drawing, but we made it a little more ple pleasing to the eye, I think, uh, to cent we centered some stuff up in there. Oh, let's see. We want to measure from this wall right here to tell them how to put that window in. Somewhere right there. This one will go from that exterior to the center there. And let's see. We'll do go around the house this way. Notice I'm just kind of going around the house in a symmetrical manner. Uh, or I'm going in a pattern, not symmetrical, but I mean, uh, kind of following my way around the house to get where I need to go to make sure everything's in, this, in the correct place. Um, this one's kind of tricky because how do we locate this one? I'm, we could do this this way and they would just call out with the, so we'll just locate the center of those because they're all one right up against another. Um, and got the windows located. Um, so that's good there. Um, I actually don't like the location of that, so that's off a weird wall even, so we'll go over here and we'll do this from this wall right here to the center and locate that about right there. So that centers that one up and locates that window. Um, we could go back in now and locate doors. Uh, we locate a door from here to there. It tells us where that door is. Um, and the other exterior door is going to be this one right here, so we will locate that from there to there. 
Um, let's see, we'll locate this opening here. We want to know how long that wall is right there. And we'll go to this wall. All right, so um, that's kind of it. There's a couple of things in there. I noticed that it's a little different in here, and I noticed that it's a, a little different. There's supposed to be a door right here, I think, somewhere in here. Maybe it's over here. Let's look. So there's a door right here, and in there there's a water heater, and there's a closet. I think we added that door, and there's a shelf. So that water heater is probably about 18 inches around, and there's a wall right there. So let's go in and add that real quick. It's not going to be, well, we will dimension it, but um, we'll go back to home, change this back to uh, object layers. And we're going to add a circle in here, a circle, center diameter, and we'll make it about 18 inches around. So that puts that right in there somewhere, and we can get, kind of move it back in a little bit. If you want to get it a little closer, um, that's fine. We'll add... Uh, Let's see. If we copy this up, let's see what happens. I'm going to try this. We're going to copy this, this, and this. Um, and we're just going to kind of move it in this direction to see what's going on. If we move it, let's add 2 foot 2 inches. It'll be about perfect. So 2 foot 2 inches. And it puts that in there. That shelf is probably only... Eight, well, let's see if 18's out to here. It's, we could make that an 18-inch wall. So we could um, copy... Uh, or offset 18 inches. We'll offset this wall out this way, 18. And then we can just start trimming. So we'll use these cutting edges here. And we'll use all of those as cutting edges. So I'm going to cut that off and that off. Go ahead and cut those off, those, those. And I'll go ahead and get those little pieces in there. So now we've got a little 18 inch wall sticking out there. We'll offset this one uh, 12 inches. Let's see, offset 12 inches there, and this is would be the shelf. There's a shelf in here. We probably want to do something like change that line type, but I don't know if the line types are loaded, so let's see if we can go to quick properties here. And the line type is the layers aren't loaded. Um, the easiest way to do that is actually to go to our layers here. If we go and click on, say, the construction line, and we're going to look, click on, okay, hold on. Let me, let me start that again so everybody follows. Um, it, hold on, I'll do it in the next video.